John Anderson uh, joining you in the Senate, perhaps. Uh, Matt Canavan, will, will you be giving him a warm embrace back to the party? I, I love John. Uh, he's a great guy. He continues to be a thought leader uh, for uh, this country and uh, I think he'd be a great addition to the Senate. Obviously, I don't have a vote as a Queenslander and mm. not a member of the New South Wales Nationals Party. It's up to the members. But it is great to see someone of his calibre put their hand up. That can only uh, sharpen the contest. Uh, and uh, if he did make it through, that would be great. I do want to get his tips on how he doesn't age too. He doesn't look any <laughs> yeah. different from when he retired like 16 years ago. How does he do that? I don't know. Well, what, what, but what does it say about the future of the party if, if you're calling on the past for help? Uh, look, I, 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 well, I mean, to start with, um, I think John has put his hand up here, uh, which is his right as a member of the New South Wales Nationals Party, and it's up to the members. And, and the second point to make here is that, yeah, John went out very young, so I don't, I don't think he's, you know, in any way yesterday's man. Um, you know, I believe uh, John Howard was still Prime Minister at about John's age, but John, I think, did have some health issues some time yeah. ago, and uh, he, he decided to, to step back at that time. So... As I say, he's continued to remain uh, engaged in, in, in the political fray or the public policy space, uh, doing great work with his podcasts and, and uh, contributions to, to our intellectual milieu. So I welcome him back uh, if, he, if he got there. Uh, I'm sure he'll continue to play a role, whatever, uh, through the pre-selection process.